Welcome to Explore Classroom. My name is Jennifer Bergen, and I am so glad you are joining us today. Many viewers around the world have just celebrated Passover and Easter, and we hope you all had a special time celebrating with your loved ones. We are getting excited about celebrating Earth Day this Friday, April 22nd. You know, be sure to talk with your class and your family about how you plan to celebrate our incredible planet. At National Geographic, we know the power of exploration, wonder, and storytelling can change the world. And this Explore a Classroom YouTube show connects students from all over the world with our National Geographic Explorers for short lessons and time for your questions. Today, our explorer is Joao Campos Silva. Joao is a conservationist who works in the Amazon River Basin in South America and is part of the Perpetual Planet Amazon Expedition. The Amazon rainforest has precious animals and plants that are not found anywhere else in the whole world. And this is a special place that's important to all of our lives as humans for so many reasons. And Joao and his team at Instituto Hyorua want to protect the Amazon for the planet as well as the people, plants, and animals who call the Amazon home. Today, Joao is going to tell us about the aquatic life that lives in the Amazon River and why protecting animals that live in the water is very important. But before we get into today's lesson, let's welcome our viewers who have registered in advance and they join us from all over the globe. We'd like to give a shout out to Toluca Lake Elementary, Cougar Run Elementary, East Prairie Elementary, Rostello Homeschool, Duarte Unified School District, Cardiff Elementary School, Hanover Elementary School, Norton Park Elementary School, Harnett Primary School, Barker Middle School, Greenwood Elementary, St. Aloysius School, the Milano Family, IBINE, Richard Murphy K-8, Bel Air Elementary School, Kalispell Middle School, Meadowbrook Elementary, Salem Lutheran School, Hillard Elementary, Kitson Central School, Odea Core Knowledge Elementary, Ellsworth Hill Elementary, SUNY Fredonia, and all of our homeschool families out there. We are thrilled to have you and more join us. And with that, let's get this Explorer Classroom started. It is time to turn it over to Joao to share all about aquatic life in the Amazon River Basin. Take it away, Joao. Hello, Jennifer. Can you hear me? Hi, guys. My name is João Campos Silva. I am a Brazilian National Geographic Explorer, and I am super happy to be here to share with you some information uh, from the Amazon jungle. I have been working in the Amazon, especially with large animals, as I am going to show you. Um, can I share my, my presentation? Let me see. How can I do that? Can you, can you see my screen? Great. Well, I have been working with these huge animals, as you can see in this photo. This is the giant arapaima, the largest fish uh, from freshwater in the, in the world. I'm going to say something about him. But first, raise your hand uh, if you have been to a river before. Wow, some of you have, but a lot of you haven't yet. So now allow me to introduce you some of my favorite things about a river called the Amazon, a huge river uh, in the Amazon jungle. Here I will focus my conversation with you in the aquatic megafauna that lives in the Amazon river. But first, I would like to tell you how I came to the Amazon to study animals. Since I was a child, I have always been passionate about animals. I grew up in a very small town in Brazil where there was a lot of nature. I remember when I was eight years old, I did a school homework in which I said, well, I would like to work in the Amazonia with the animals, with fisheries. And now I am here 
this dog in this photo was my best friend and it, uh, I call it a uh, little wolf for them, but he doesn't exist anymore. And who of you has a dog at home? Dog are very, very important. Huh? Um, so I grew up with this dream to work in the Amazon. And when I was 24 years old, I moved to the Amazon to study birds. There are many, many types of birds in Amazonia with different colors and different size. Look, this very beautiful bird in the, in the photo. And in fact, the Amazon jungle is home of many, many species. You can find jaguars, lizards, frogs, fishes in different colors, different size. So the animals are very, very beautiful in Amazonia. But the Amazon is also home of many, many people. There are indigenous groups and, and non-indigenous groups living with the forest, living with the animals in a very, very beautiful relationship. So in the Amazon, people, take care of the forest, while the forests also take care of them, offering food, shelter, and many other benefits. So if we can um, ensure the forest, the Amazon forest in the future, we need to take care of the people that lives in the forest. And the Amazon, is the largest tropical forest on Earth. It's very, very big. And the Amazon jungle hosts the largest river in the world in the water, in water volume. So it's a huge river that has many, many different species, very, very uh, beautiful uh, species. And one very interesting thing is that the Amazon has two seasons, one aquatic and one terrestrial. Uh, so the animals live in the water part of the year and the animals live in the land part of the year. And this is very, very interesting because when the, the rain uh, increase, the water levels rises a lot and everything become water, become flooded. And then when the rain stops, the environment becomes drier again. The land arises. And this is uh, this alternation of water and land is called flood pools. This is very, very important for the species that lives in the Amazon. So oh, Joao, then, would you mind yeah. presentation mode so we can see the picture bigger? Um, there you go. Uh, Perfect. Thank oh, you. I'm sorry. It was in, in a wrong <laughs> mode. Can you see now? So we have the terrestrial um, part of the Amazon and the, and the aquatic part of the Amazon. And the aquatic part is very, very important because when everything is flooded, um, the animals can go to the forest to feed. Like in this photo, where you can see this fish, which is called tambaqui. This is a very important species of fish adapted to eat fruits from the flooded forest. Can you imagine you swimming between thousands of trees? This uh, occurs in, in, in Amazonia. When the, when the forest is flooded, our animals go to the forest to find um, food. Another very beautiful species that I would like to show you is the manatees, the Amazonian manatees. It is a huge mammal that can reach up three meters and more than 400 kilos. This is the largest 
aquatic and uh, mammal in Amazonia. They used to eat plants and roots and can live up to 65 years. This is a very, very beautiful animal. Um, hunting is the big threat for this beautiful uh, species. Here you can see a video with a manatee family. So they used to live in the couple and, and the babies. And here is another very beautiful species, the pink river dolphin. Um, the pink river dolphin only exists in Amazonia, and it is also very important for, for the Amazonia. It can reach more than two meters and 200 kilos. It is also a big animal. The eyes of the river dolphin are very, very small. They have in the top of the head a special structure different to the rest of the body, uh, which is called melon. The melon produces a vibration. So this vibration pass outward through the water, strike an object and uh, bounce back. So the animal can use it to navigate, perceiving objects and other species uh, in, in the water. This is very interesting how this animal can move through the rivers and lakes. And here you can also see some videos of the river uh, pink dolphin. Sometimes they are gray. They are not pink. Sometimes they are pink. So it varies. Here you can, you can see a mother and a baby. <laughs> and here we can see another very, very beautiful animal in Amazonia, which is called giant otter or water jaguar. Uh, giant otter used to live in families as well, up to 10 individuals, uh, sometimes a, a couple and, and their babies. They can live up to 80 years and they are very, very good fishers. They catch fish using their vision and a very, very uh, great diving ability. So here you can see a giant otter eating a fish. It's almost a barbecue. <laughs> they can dive very, very well. Yeah, and we also have this huge species, which is called black caiman. This is very, very dangerous. The black caiman is incredible. It can reach up to five meters and 400 kilos. It's, it's like almost a dinosaur. They put around 30 eggs in the, in the nest and they can also eat fish, small animals, uh, turtles. And this species uh, was heavily hunted due to the conflict with fishers uh, because they often destroy the fishing nets. So this is a, a threat for them. But I think, although dangerous, I think this animal very, very beautiful. Here you can see a small video of a black caiman. This is not like a big one. It's have like perhaps almost three meters. And, and here you can see lots of them eating and hunting. They used to hunt together. So they eat a lot of fish hunting together. <laughs> and after the black caiman, oh, here you can see some babies. They are very, very small. You can hear, I, I will put the video again. You can hear the, the noise that they can produce 
because the baby can communicate with the mothers when they are, for example, uh, afraid with other animals, they can, um, they can produce these sounds and the mother comes to, to save it. Can you hear? It's <laughs> and, and now this is the giant South American turtle. It's a very, very large animal that can reach up to almost 70 kilos. And this is very, very beautiful animal. They used to lay about a hundred eggs in, in the beaches, in the bank of the rivers. And when the hatchlings, the babies arise, the female, the mother used to communicate with them as well to migrate together. So they go to a, a safer place like shallow lakes, shallow waters where the, the baby can grow up. You can see here a video. This is a, a female in front of the beaches, just waiting the, the, the babies. And there are many, many, many turtles waiting. Here, another, another mother waiting the babies in front of the beaches. And finally, of course, the Arapaima, the giant of Amazonia, one of my preferred animals. The giant Arapaima is the largest freshwater fish species on, on earth. It can reach up to 200 kilos and more than three meters. The Arapaima needs to come to the surface to get the air to breathe. This is very beautiful and very important for Amazonian societies. Um, they, they are important for food and also to provide econo um, uh, economic return for the communities because uh, indigenous people used to, to fish these species. Um, the Arapaima also, the, the, this is very curious because the, the male, the father, the, the father used to take care with the babies in the mouth. So the mouth, uh, stay, uh, the, the babies stay in the mouth of the father for like three months. And when they have like this size, they can go away to, to live their lives. So these are the most uh, beautiful large animals in, in, in Amazonia. Now you already know my favorite animals. And I would like to ask, I would like to know if you want to, to ask something about them. And I would like to know which one do you think is most beautiful in Amazonia? Thank you very much. Oh, just one video more about the Arapaima. Here you can see the Arapaima swimming. Sometimes they have these red scales in the tail. That's it. Thank you very much. I'm super happy to be here. Well, friends, we are about to end our show. I want to ask one last question on all of our behalf. Joao, how can we be like you? How can we help protect animals that live in the water? Yeah, I think that um, to protect the waters in, in, in the world and to protect the, the Amazon, I think that we can, for example, prevent the pollution of water resource. And most important, I think, is to engage in conservation activities. I think many, many organizations uh, have been working in the places that you live. So it's very important to engage with them, to see the activities that are occurring so you can participate actively in those activities. And also, of course, support organization working with the protection of nature. We can do it in Amazonia, but we can also do it in our neighborhood. You know, every place has people concerned 
and protecting uh, the nature. I think you, we can now engage in those activities to help to protect the natural world. Joao, that's such a good point, especially with Earth Day coming up this week. So friends, you heard it from our explorer buddy, Joao. If you're not sure how to celebrate Earth this week, consider joining a group or thinking about how you can protect the water where you live. Joao, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Jennifer. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much for all. And I hope we can keep in touch. I'm available, Jennifer, to leave some some links about the more than 400 species of birds and uh, 100 species of, of frogs and more than 1,000 species of birds. And thank you very much. Have a very, very nice week. Well, thank you also to all of our students and teachers out there. We hope that after today's show, you want to join more of our events. So why don't you sign up for next week's Explorer Classroom? We're going to have Explorer Kasim Rafiq join us and teach us all about wildlife research focusing on leopards. You can register your family or a student group at natgeoed.org backslash Explorer Classroom. Everyone have a great day, stay curious, keep exploring, and joao, obrigado a